All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassis Plays and today we are continuing best month ever. We're on part three, continuing where we left off with uh, part two. And yeah, um, I see that there's been a good amount of people coming through for part one and part two asking for more of this game. The game's pretty interesting to me, so I figured I'd come back and uh, hopefully knock out like one or two parts today to uh, publish for you guys. So, as always, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe, leave me a comment, what you think, how you think things are going for uh, Mitch, or also, uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, the mom. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I guess with that, let's go ahead and hit let's get off the continue road, mom. and see how this goes. They could be following us. Where do you get this stuff? Louise, right, right. From Oops. movies. Yeah, the last moment that we had for this game was actually pretty intense. What's wrong with the car? Pretty much held up know. some people <laughs> and then ran away. So I guess we'll see what happens next. I think we lost them. Oh, my hands are still shaking. That was intense, Mom. <laughs> exactly, that was intense. All right, so boost his self-confidence, apologize for the stunt, scold him for the stunt. Apologize? Wait, why would you? That increases. I guess why I'll Why did you do that. shoot, Mitch? What if you actually hit somebody, huh? Yeah, let's say that. But, Mom. <clears throat> no buts. We're not in some action movie. You got it? Mm-hmm. Let's see what happened here. I forgot he was the one that grabbed it. Let's see if you can find something in the trunk to open the hood with. And put a hat on. The sun is terrible. All right, let's run over to the trunk. I mean, with all the boxes we have in this car, I feel like we got to have something, right? Something that... Oh, yeah, let me take the gun. That sounds like a great idea. Will you teach me? <laughs> Scold, instruct. This is not a toy, Mitch. Put it away. And when I grow up, will you teach me then? Tell the truth, instruct. One day somebody will teach you for sure. Somebody's coming. Quick, Mitch, hide, quick! <gasps> there they are. Oh, God. Well, kid, put away the gun at least. Why? Take the gun, Louise, goddamn. Overheated. Get rid of him, lie. Uh, no comprende. No, no, <laughs> no speak. A, I okay. Hmm. You shouldn't start it for a while. Uh, si, senor. Gracias. Running from someone? Will be nice. Why do you ask? An overheated car in the middle of a desert? Windshield shot through. Worst attempt at Spanish I've ever heard. <laughs> Did you True. see a horse run by here? A horse? Mitch. Name's Wee. He's white with black spots. We haven't seen any horse. He's always running away from my uncle. Sure you don't want any help? The wind is picking up. All right. He's actually kind of, he, he, I mean, obviously he's a stranger, but he's like, all right, come on now. Can so we'll, we'll ask tow? him. We'll ask him. Sure. Just need to get a tow line for my uncle. I mean, what Maybe else are we going to do? Why? Maybe he really wanted to help. It's true. The wind is picking up. You're not feeling well, Nice. Mom? I'm just a little dizzy, <laughs> that's all. Can I look around? Just don't go very far. All right, what can we look around at? Oh. 
Oh my god, the horse. It's you they're looking for. Brother Rock. What? We. Good horsey. Oh no. Will you give me a ride? There's a car over here. I'll climb this wrecked car and jump right on top of you, we. I don't know. This seems like a bad idea. <gasps> oh, God. Just when I thought the wind blew you away. Let's tow your car. Looks like we've got no choice. Come back, Mitch! He wasn't Mitch? supposed to go far. He won't hear us in this wind. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Mitch! Mitch! Oh, God. What happened? It hurts, Mom. Easy now. Don't move. A snake. Please help me. Take him to a doctor. The hospital is too far. We'll have to go to my uncle's now. To his uncle's. Oh, yeah. This seems really safe. The boy got bitten by a snake. Can you help my little boy? Put him in the Hogan, Timmy. <laughs> the music playing right now. Start the fire, quick. What kind of snake was it? I only caught a glimpse of it. The death spirit never leaves empty-handed. The boy's spirit needs you. Oh man. Of the spirits. What is what is Don't happening? Follow their glow. If you're lost, the fire will show you the way. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Whoa. Mom, help! Follow me. Find the next fire. Find the next fire. Okay, this game just got uh, a little trippy. I mean, it's been a pretty wild ride at times Please. with Mitch. I think, is that supposed to be like a giant bear? Looks like it. From shootouts to cars breaking down to dancing. <laughs> The now taking drugs to find the uh, uh, Mitch's spirit. Oh, nice. Me, horsey. Seek the corpse's fire, Louise. You'll encounter all of your unfinished affairs there. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, wait, now I actually have to do WASD. Interesting. This entire time, it's been like a point and click. But now we're actually using uh, regular controls. Oh, look, I guess a wolf. I don't see any fire. Seek deeper. Uh, 
there's a fire. Go, Louise, go. Hurry up. What's happening here? What is your Who are you? answer to all of your questions. Ask. Where's Mitch? Mom, I'm here. Oh boy. Healing Mitch, searching for Mitch. What do I do to keep Mitch alive? Fight. Ah. Uh, walk away from the uh, Mitch's future, my future. How much life do I have left? It depends on how many questions. Huh? Run away! Quick! You stay safe with us. I know. Okay. We made it out. I'm okay, Mom. That boy is tough. You don't know how grateful I am. Your uncle. My uncle bought you some time. Wait, is that his body? I tell you that the spirits of your ancestors are calling your son, but their faces are still hollow for him. Only you can flush them out, Louise. Thanks for everything, Timmy. They fixed your car, but it won't hold up much longer. It only needs to hold up a little longer. This time, stick to the main roads. Here's a map. Oh, a map. Okay. Where are we right now? In Northern California. That's quite a ways. We're just around here. You can stay here for a while. Thanks, Timmy. We'll make it. We've got to go. And so we went. I liked Timmy and wanted to stay there, but Mom said we would meet other interesting people on the road. I didn't realize how wrong she was, but back then, I felt like she'd gotten a boost of new energy. I could see she was feeling better. That's the spirit. <laughs> Very on par uh, achievement there. Oh, uh -oh. The town of hope. Not what, but who. You'll meet your grandfather, Leon. Your dad? The one who was going to teach you how to fish? Yes. <laughs> Luckily, it was you who taught it me It looks that. like the road is traveling how with can us. How dad leave his right here. child? It's beyond complicated. He doesn't love him? Sometimes he doesn't love the other people around him, and sometimes there's no way out. You can always try to find a way out. What happened to all the stuff in our car? God damn it, the police! It's because of the gas station. I'll you don't know that. that. You don't know that. What the hell are you doing? What are Let you doing? Going, now! Oh, God. Forbid. No! 
Stop this instant. Oh my god. That is so bad. That's oh god. I did it. They won't get us now. <laughs> Strap in and get down. We but just stop chasing us. What is happening? A tornado. Hang on. Ah! Faster than wind. We, so we just shot at <laughs> this game. It is taking things to the next level for being just a mom and her, and her child running away. It is going all over the place. <laughs> is this hope? If we're going to continue this trip, you've got to listen to me. Why did you shoot? I didn't want them to get us, Mom, because you're sick. What? I heard you when you were talking to Kiki. It's nothing serious. What's wrong with you, Mom? Nothing that can't be cured. Let's look for Grandpa. Look out for a yellow house, or whatever's left of it. I hope Grandpa's okay. So do I. Over there, there's the yellow house. Yes, this must be it. Jeez. I don't know why the frame rate, like, all of a sudden it got really bad. Let me see if there's, like, any type of... Uh, there's not really any settings we can change. Graphics-wise. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is this 501 Roosevelt Street? I'm looking for Leon Connor. Good man. You know him? Used to be my son's friend. Only white friend in this town. You said used to be? He left a few years ago. Do you know where he went? Said something about a gator farm in the swamp. Was he a drunk or a junkie? Not really. Sometimes we'd have us a cup of moonshine is all. Said he was gonna make boots out of them gators, huh? <laughs> so, he was a junkie? M my son, he know more about that. But, uh... Yes? He gone for a walk a few days ago, and didn't come back yet. Many brothers have disappeared lately. Mm. But the good Lord sees it all, and today he sent his wrath down on the white man. Looks like you got hit too. Mm -mm. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, ear word of Lord. Interesting. Lady, please, can you help me? What happened? Can't find my daughter. I'm begging you, help me. She's gone. I can't find her. Have you seen my grandma, an older lady? Calm down. Where are your parents? I only have my grandma. I found her glasses. She's blind without them. Please, help me. Oh, God. Do we look for the daughter or the aunt or granny? I say that probably the daughter because she is she's What's younger. What's her name? And a child. Pat. Listen, Pat. First, we need to find this lady's daughter, and then we'll look for your granny. Okay? What if she's hurt? She can see anything. I'll help Pat. 
Forbid, allow, sure. Get back in the car, Mitch. Mom, we have to help. Just look around. Fine. Let's check out the area and meet up back here in a while. By the yellow house. Whenever Mom sensed that I was right, she always lacked consistency. Every single time. My daughter was dressed in red. Help Doris they find her, her daughter. Nice. daughter. Mothers stick together. Okay. Man, all this like smoke in the background must be like really uh tasking for this or yeah. Tasking for the game. Wait, there's something right here. It's just a pot. Where else would they be? Oh, there's something right here. Some girl's teddy bear. Maybe we're, we're getting warm. Something else right here. A hat. Somebody's hat. A little shoe. My God, it's my little girl's shoe. Maybe she's hiding in this car wreck. What's her name? Call out for her. No, sweetheart. No. No, my little. No, wake up. Please. When you witness so many horrible things all at once, you grow up real fast. It all depends on how you explain it to yourself or on how someone explains it to you. Well, damn. Have you seen my son? Leon kept mentioning Black Morass. Excuse me? Said something about Black Morass in Louisiana. <laughs> Is that where he went? He talked about you all the time, honey. Louise is so monotone. She's like, okay, well, we just found this this lady's Mitch, daughter dead. Are you okay? And now she's sure. like, let me just walk back. Mitch, Did you where find are Pat's you? Granny? Yes, I found her. That's great. You're a brave boy. She kept looking at me with kind of transparent eyes, but she was already cold. Oof. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Pat closed her eyes and asked me to leave. He cried a lot. You did the best you could. You helped. Pat said earlier that Granny was all he had. Now he's alone. If he really tries, he'll never be alone, you know? Is that how it works? No, but if he's going to depend on others for help, he'll die. But if he fights for himself, Jeez. who knows? <laughs> That means he's already gone. If you were suddenly alone, Mitch, would you like for someone to say you're already gone? But I won't be alone because you'll get better, right? Copium. Yes, sweetheart. What about Doris's daughter? Tell it. Well, I mean, he already saw, but like. We found her, but it was too late. We need to keep going, honey. It's a long way to Black Morass. Jeez. What a uh, dark turn. 
kid finds an old dead uh well dead old lady and we find a dead child Eesh. shootouts I guess she meant tornadoes when she said we <laughs> had the best cops. vacation ever oh my god still the vacation was life what a month yeah at least it was for me <laughs> that's when my mother said every deed good or bad has consequences that's what karma is she was right of course but after leaving that town i felt like my deeds had no effect on anything <laughs> we're not in kansas anymore another achievement Are we there yet, Mom? Mom? Mom! Mom! Oh my god, and... Oh, dude. Holy... Mom! Wake up! Mom! Uh oh, is that a cop? Relax, Mom. I'll take care of them. Uh oh. Ever What's the plan right, here? Little guy, what are you doing here? Answer evasively. We've been driving for a long time and just needed to rest. Fine. Just don't stay too long. It's getting dark. His head was still out the window when he ran away. What if she's not okay? Can we be like, sir, can you please help my mom? Like, How are you feeling, mom? Much better, sweetheart. I'll check the car. Okay. And you try to get it started. Damn, it's going to be hard to get out of here. Okay, Mitch. Turn it on. Okay, Mom. You okay, Mom? Yes, don't worry. Mom! That's uh, not good. It's all good, Mitch. <clears throat> A tow truck? Take out the gun, ask for help. Uh, let's Can ask help for help. Us? What happened? Can you help us? It won't start up. Where's your dad? Not around. Will you help us, sir? My auto shop's pretty close. I'll give you all a tow. We got lucky, didn't we? We'll see about that. I don't know. I don't trust this guy. Since it said take out the gun, that might be saying... I'm Louise. This is my son, Mitch. Thomas. Thanks again. You'll thank me later. How long will the repair take? Hard, hard to say. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you brought gas. Welcome. Their car is broken. I'm going to take care of it now. Good evening. We don't want to bother you. Don't be silly. We love company, but they're going to I'm, I'm have calling gas. in now chat. What's your name, darling? They're going to end up Louise, being cannibals. I guarantee it. I'm 
was so glad Thomas Guarantee you it. up. My son is a good boy. That's so true. He stopped to help us. Where are you headed? No, I don't trust these people. I don't know. We're going to Florida. Oh, that's quite a ways. Hard to do without a car. What's waiting for you there? Just business. Hmm. And where's your father, little boy? Talk back. None of your business, lady. <laughs> Hush, Mitch. He'll join us soon. Very well. Do come inside. I baked some cookies. Are they human cookies? Oh god, I do not like this place already. These are my granddaughters. Hi, what's your name? Mitch. I am Ada. Ida. Oda. Wanna okay. Play with us? Good idea, Ada. Go play together. Uh. Oh, children. Their mother left when they were little. That's what I was going to no say. Reason. How they. Just like that? Just like that. One morning, she just packed up and went. I'm raising them with my son now, but he knows cars better than children. He's always been in a world of his own, but he's a good boy. Yes, you've already said that. I'm not sure how much time our She's good trying to has justify his me, actions. It won't be forever. He's a good boy. The girls need a I mother, promise. Someone to shelter them from the world and and push them to do their chores. I do not like this place at all. Major problem. Can't do much without light. We are without power. A tornado blew all the power lines down. Yeah, we You'll got stuck in, in that. our guest room. In the morning, I'll see what I can do. We don't want to impose. Oh, stop it, darling. We love guests. Besides, you don't have a choice, do you? I'll lock up the shop now. Oh, God. You never know who's lurking around on a night like this. A night like what? Doc, let's go to your room. I'll show you around. Wait, why do they have bullet holes? Wait, what is happening over here? There's a, a bunch of holes in the windows. Don't bother. Thank you. You really shouldn't. Oh, forget it. Would you rather sleep in the car? Oh, don't mention it. You want to play hide and seek with us? In the dark? You scared? Uh yes, I am. I am scared of these these I people. Don't like the dark. If you win, it will get bright. Huh? Each of us will hide in a different room. You have to find us one by one, say the name, and light a candle if you get it right. Close your eyes and count to ten. Monk ass. One. Two. Three. Oh no. Three. Nine. Oh no. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Louise, where'd you go? He's gonna stumble into something very bad, and it's gonna then when he's gonna be like, Mom, I don't know where they went. Found her. Ah, I got you. <laughs> there you are. You found me, but now you have to say my name. Oh okay, god. Sure. Your name is... Uh, the blonde girl was Ada. She's Ida, and the red one's Oda. Ida. Your name Ida. is Ida. Yes. Got it. You can light my candle now. Oh, God. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. 
watch them being like watch this be a haunted place or some I, I don't know I really don't trust this place gotcha why is she crying and why is there a teddy bear like that hey what happened I've heard him what who from the cellar huh you're putting me on right Mitch, what are you doing? It's okay. Nothing's happening, all right? Give me your hand and we'll go. We can't come out until you guess our names. Those are the rules. Otherwise, we'll be punished. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's just a game. But okay. Uh, Ada was the brunette, so this is Oda. Your name must be... Oda. Yes, you remembered. I mean, the, the blonde. Okay, this is terrifying. From the cellar? Oh, God. Keep your mouth shut. You don't want me to punish you, do you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're going to try to go down there. Locked. Okay, let's try this room. Gotcha. Not so fast. You still have to say my name. Ada. Your name is Ada. Good. Got them all. You made it. Tomorrow we'll play another game. Tomorrow. Hopefully we're not. Yeah. Hopefully we're not here tomorrow. Know. Who lives behind this door? Nobody. I saw your dad coming out from behind this door and talking to somebody. Should we tell him? A ghost lives in the cellar. A ghost? Are you sure it's not a monster? I knew we wouldn't believe. Nobody is allowed in there. Your dad was there. Dad is allowed. The ghost tells him to bring things. Oh, God. In return, he won't harm us and our grandma. But sometimes, at night, you can hear terrible sounds in the cellar. Dinner time, kids. Don't eat it. No, sonny boy. Don't Your eat it. Your mom and I have bonded. Don't. I feel it. Don't you, honey? Answer evasively. Confirm. You're very kind, ma'am. You remind me of someone, but you're much prettier. Isn't she pretty, Thomas? Wait. Oh, that's a different room. Ah, Tom. The guest. Max Hunter's farm, 11 o'clock. We've got a job to do. I'll be there. One more thing. Would you happen to have seen a blue Cadillac around? They say it was parked by the road earlier. No. Uh -oh. Didn't see it. Okay. See you later. We're going to have some fun. Darling, if you were single, my Tom would have been a perfect match for you, right? Mom, can you please shut up? By the way, why aren't you wearing your wedding ring? This turkey is very good. Oh, God. Did you hear that? Is that the ghost? Mitch. A ghost? Well, you're too old for ghost stories. I heard you have to bring him all kinds of stuff. Yeah, traps for the damned rats. And once, a rattlesnake bit our dog. What happened to him? He died. The rattlesnake or the dog? The dog died. The snake went away, Mitch. And you, snotty girls, I'm going to punish you for scaring our guests. 
Oh no. They didn't do anything. Scold Mitch, change the subject. Yeah, let's go ahead and How change the subject. Turkey? I'll teach you, honey. It's a family recipe. It's humans. Uh, thank you for this lovely dinner. You're welcome. We love having guests. We're going to bed. I can barely stand up. Mom is ill. Ill with what, honey? Uh, nothing serious. Just a cold. Hmm. Breakfast at seven. Hey, thanks again for everything. What's on the menu? Good night. She is. I'm telling you. Mom, this place is kind of strange. What's on your mind? When he was walking out of the cellar, I heard Mr. Thomas threaten someone with punishment if they don't keep quiet. And later, the sisters told me about a ghost who lives there. And then at dinner, we heard noises under the floor. Something evil is happening here, Mom. Maybe we're just imagining things. But my intuition tells me something is not quite right. How do you know? Shh. She's going to be right at the door. Quiet in there. I gotta check this out or I won't be able to sleep. I'm coming with you. No, Mitch. Stay here and don't come out no matter what. Lock the door. When I knock three times, you can let me back in. Mom, I'm afraid of this ghost. I don't want to be alone. Uh, one has to be tough. Ghosts don't exist. Sweetheart, we can't spend the whole night. Like my doggy's crying. Us. The world shouldn't change you. You have to change the world. Got it? Got it. You're a smart boy. The cellar door is locked. I'll look for the key. Well, at least they give our guests the gun. <laughs> Look up here. It's a case. Some will see a case, but no keys here. All right. They're not going to be on here, would they? Just spoons, knives, and forks. Quite dirty. I mean, we watched him go into the other room. Some keys. <gasps> oh, these must be the keys. My wife took out the other doggy that we, or our puppy. So now my other dog's jealous, which is why she's howling. Is a little baby. Damn, none fit. You're about to join them, you nosy cunt. Mitch, go find is that a, a KKK outfit? 
find the rope. Oh, there's some right here. He's a good boy. I told you. Trying to justify his actions. I promise he I never meant to hurt anybody. Him. This must be the cellar key. Are we going in there? We gotta. Uh, forbid Mitch to exit. Explain uh, you don't want to put him in any in danger anymore. No, Mitch. I'm going. You go back to the room, and this time you stay there. I haven't learned anything. Apparently, you learned things that scare me. And I taught you all of that. What's wrong with that? Mitch, please. Okay, Mom. <laughs> I'll stay. Mitch, please. All right, let's get in there. Oh God, what are we walking into? Wait, there's, huh? Thomas and his friends. Oh, of course, yep. There you are, you bastard. He's a good boy. I don't know okay. this dude, but to complete a perfect family picture, all we need is dear granny. Hello? Who are you? Burnett woman. <gasps> Wait, there's people back here. Oh my god. What's going on? Careful. He's coming back. He must run away. When he finds out. Easy. He won't hurt you now. Let us go. Please. Wait, I thought there was a man down here. It's all girls. How long has he kept you here? Uh, I don't know. A few years. Wait, and a redhead? A. They are our daughters. Oh, God. We could God. only hear them playing above our heads. Is their father? Oh, he God. He kidnapped me. When I was jogging by the highway. He entered our home, hit my dad with a hammer. Is, is my dad alive? I had a date with him at a bar and woke up in this cage. Why didn't anybody try to find us? <clears throat> What's wrong with you? Oh, God. I'm okay now. Let's go upstairs. He'll kill us. No, he won't be up for a while. What do we do with him? Justice, the police. Uh, I mean, I'm going to tell him justice. What do you, what do you guys think? My advice, take the justice into your own hands. If you turn him over to the police and he's sentenced, he'll be out in a few years. His kind never changes. You bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, she has a knife. Oh! Okay, I had now. No choice. Yeah, she had a knife. Still alive. We'll take care of that. I'll be going now. Oh man. Do you happen to know Max Hunter's farm? We're bailing out. Who was in the cellar? I'll tell you on the road. What do you need Mr. Thomas's costume for? <laughs> now we'll play the ghost. Should we make things right before Louisiana? Uh, no. Destination Louisiana, no. Mom... Let's go see Grandpa. 
I'm proud of you, you know? I think so. But I just can't let this slide. Because you just don't care? No, Mitch. Because I still do care. Wait, there's somebody in the middle of the road. Mom was awesome. I see that now. Jeez. But on the other hand, I'd have to think twice before putting my child in danger. Yeah. I <laughs> told Mitch has got that right. All right. Well, this episode is starting to drag out a little bit longer, and I don't want to take it too long. So for now, I'm going to pause this episode here. Uh, if you did enjoy this, like I said, leave a like on the video, comment, let me know what you think, uh, how this is going. If you would have made any different choices, let me know. And yeah, that's going to be it for now. As always, thank you for watching, and I'm going to actually pretty much get started on the next episode. So hopefully you'll see that soon, because I'm interested in seeing where else this goes. <laughs> It's a very wild ride for this game. It's definitely, definitely not what I expected, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, little issues here and there with like audio and things like that, but overall, I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna do my best and get out the uh, next parts for you guys. All right, thank you again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.